In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can download and get started using the Post Tech application and potentially qualify for their airdrop. Now, as I'm sure you know, since you clicked on this video, Post Tech is a new social media interaction application built on the Arbitrum network, and it's very similar to Friend Tech, where you can buy and sell shares of different Twitter personalities, and then you can join the communities, the private communities that come with owning shares in a person. And really there's three major reasons why you would want to use Post Tech. For starters, it's brand new. It's only been out for a few days. And so by getting in early and potentially by buying shares in people before their shares get bought up and their communities become too large, then you have a higher chance of actually making money trading shares of people. Now, I'm not saying that this is a great way to make money and there's definitely risks involved, but if you get in early, then there's a higher likelihood for sure that you're actually going to profit from buying someone's share than if you come in after hundreds of people have already started buying up their shares. Reason number two why you might want to use Postech is very simple, that they're going to have an airdrop very similar to Friendtech. You get points for buying and selling shares of people and also probably for making referrals as well. And reason number three why you might want to use Postech is that, in my opinion, it has some advantages over Friendtech. So now let me walk you through exactly how to get started and then we'll talk about what some of those advantages and features of this app are. Okay, for starters, you're going to want to navigate to post.tech and this is where you sign in. You can continue with Google or you can log in with Twitter or X. And I recommend logging in with Twitter because it pulls your information like your profile picture and your bio directly from Twitter and it makes it a lot easier to create a profile. Now, once you hit log in with Twitter, it's going to pop up and ask you to allow Post Tech to access your Twitter account. If you're worried about this, then honestly, just don't do it. But if you want to experiment with the app, then this is really the best way to do it. So you're going to hit authorize app and then post tech is going to be linked to your Twitter account. Now, the next thing that you need to have is a referral or an invite code. If I have any left, they'll be posted down in the description of this video or maybe in a pinned comment as well. But if those are all gone and you don't know anybody that has a referral code for you, there's a simple way to access one. And this is actually what I did when I first signed up for the app because I didn't know anyone that was already using it. And what you're going to want to do is simply go to Twitter and type in the search bar post tech, hit on the latest button and then scroll through until you find an invite link and a referral code. People are posting them all the time. Here you can find a post with, you know, 10 referral codes and just scroll through Twitter until you find a referral code, copy, paste it, easy, you're in. And now you're almost ready to go. The final thing that you need to do in order to use the app is to send some Ethereum to your new ETH wallet. And this is on the Arbitrum network. Now, if you have no ETH on the Arbitrum network and you don't know how to do that, I have other videos showing how to bridge from different layer two networks on Ethereum. So you can check out one of those videos and then come back here. But once you have ETH on the Arbitrum network, just send some to your new wallet address and you'll be ready to go. And so once you're in, this is what the app looks like. As you can see, it's pretty much the same as Twitter or X. And actually you can download it onto your desktop and use it here. And this is one of the features I was referring to before that makes it, in my opinion, a little bit better than friend tech to start is because if you want to use friend tech on your computer, your MacBook or your laptop, then you have to go through kind of a complicated process to set that up. But this automatically right away can be used on your computer or on your phone, whichever one you prefer, which is nice. Now, as you can see, you can tweet or post and it's very similar to Twitter. And so if I go to my profile page, you can see that my post shows up here. Now you also see some other information about you and how many people are following you. So I have two holders right now. Uh, I guess someone bought one of my shares. Thank you, Excellus. I guess that just happened while I was making this recording. But on their profile page, that is where you can buy and sell shares. Now you can see on the right hand side, there's some featured people and you can also see some recent trades here. So people that are buying shares. Now going back to the homepage, you can see it's a very similar experience to Twitter. You can scroll through and you know, whoever you're following, their posts are going to show up here. Now it's important to note that there's a difference between following and buying. So you can see I can follow people like size Chad without actually buying their shares. And then his posts are going to show up in my newsfeed. But if I wanted to join the private group, then I have to buy a share. And if you buy a share, this is what you get. You get access to premium posts and private group chat. So that's a benefit, I guess, if you want to be a part of the community. You receive 5% fees when other people buy and sell your shares, and you can potentially resell your shares for a higher price, although that is 100% pure speculation. 
And also, it's interesting that Post Tech is actually still calling it shares, whereas Friend Tech changed it from shares to keys, probably because they were worried about some of the security implications by calling it shares. Anyways, what else can you do? Well, you can go to the Explore tab and you, know, you can try and find people to buy shares in. If your plan is to actually make money by buying and selling shares, really the only way to do that is to be early. And so what I would do is follow people on Twitter and then as soon as they join up for Post Tech, then you gotta hop over and buy their shares ASAP because by the time a community builds up, like I said, it's probably already too late. You got your notifications tab, your messages tab, same as Twitter, and this is where you can see the airdrop. So I have currently earned zero points because I literally just downloaded and started using this, but they actually have a list of how you can earn points. So for example, if you make five posts per day, then you can earn 10,000 points. Or if you reply to people 25 times per day, then you can earn 5,000 points. You get points for invites as well, for sharing, but also for having lots of shares bought and sold. And the final thing that I'll mention is that if you want to send more ETH or withdraw ETH, you can do so by hitting on this little section up here. You can see how much ETH you have in your wallet, how much you've earned from trading fees, and their referral and holding rewards as well. And then if you want to transfer ETH out, then you can do that from here. So yeah, that is pretty much it. But I already feel like the functionality of this app and some of the additional features is superior to friend tech. I'll probably continue using both because of the airdrop potential, but it's really interesting to see what these guys are doing. And I think that it's smart to get in early. So I highly recommend just experimenting with it. Don't put any significant amount of ETH into it, but just have fun. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this useful and have a great day.